Now we are a nation of home lovers, but we also love our gardens as well. So important for family life. Whether it's barbecues, water pistols with the kids, the scent of honeysuckle in the air, or just sitting down and relaxing, having a cold beer or a glass of wine after a hard day's work. We love our patios. And of course, the right product, laid correctly, adds significant value to our home and gives it much more of an appeal. But take your time in choosing. They used to be just functional, but now they can be a feature as well. There are so many different types of paving, be it porcelain or sandstone. Take a moment to enjoy shopping for your ideal patio, making sure that it becomes a beautiful feature as well as very practical for you to use. But also spend the same amount of time choosing the right installer. Choosing the right one, it's laid easy, lasts for years, and it's a really pleasurable experience. Choosing the wrong installer that doesn't do a good job, well, I'm here at this house with Mark from Pavestone. He's going to show me what they've had put in. Mark, how are you doing? I'm very well, are you? I'm dying to see what you've got around the back here, but this, this is not a good start. This is, this is a big worry before we even enter the garden. That's awful, between the paving, the edging and the tarmac. That's terrible. What's inside then? After you. Let's have a look at it already. <laughs> How are you going to get your wheelie bins through that? Oh. I mean, I'm just looking at it. The slope of the patio yeah. is going to take all the water straight to the house. It is, yeah, certainly. You can see there's a hump. So you've got a little bit of water that's going to go to the left, but the majority of the water, as you say, is going towards the house. Yeah. There's also a big dish outside the back door. The I mean, water's going to hold. Yeah, it's just going to congregate all over. I mean, it's more lunar than level, isn't it? It's, it's absolutely. And all, and all the the paving stones themselves, I mean, that's the base. It's not just the, the level, isn't it? And, and as I say, to get it right is so simple. You would have thought so. And what about the straight line? I mean, following that line there. Cast your eye down this, this row of edging, David, and you'll see. And again, so simple. Yeah. Sim simple tool, string line, and you would have a lovely straight line. Because the stone is nice. I mean, if you take a look at it here, this is natural sandstone. What type is this? What? This is the Raj blend. Yeah. Natural sandstone, as you say. Yeah. Installed correctly, it looks superb. Yeah. And it's really difficult because all the materials are right. The edgings are there, the slabs are there. They've got all the materials to do the job. It's just installing it down. And that's where the professionals come in. They install them every day. They know the correct practice. And once it's down, it's down there for I mean, with natural stone for, for years and years. But this 18 months down, and, and, and what, do you, what do you reckon? It's got to be a relay? It, it's a total of different relay. As you say, the materials wise, the, the curbs, the block pavers, the, the natural stone looks superb from the surface. Yeah. We need to see what's happening underneath. Yeah. Because what is what's it like? Tap yours. Listen to that. And look at the cutaway. <laughs> look at the cut there. <laughs> They've gone. I mean that well, you that's talk about terrible. as well, David. I mean this you know, to be able to crumble that quite easily with your fingers. Yeah. And, and I dare say, you know, if if you wanted to you would lift that up. You think it'll go? Okay. I'm sure you would lift that up. Oh, crap, it's coming out now. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at look at that. You can just see how bad that is. It's just crumbling. That is pure sand. That hasn't seen any cement. How do people... I mean, I mean... I mean, th these are, the slabs are really nice. You pay yeah. a couple of quid for natural stone in the garden. You it's do. beautiful finish. It is. And then it just cheapens it in the laying. It takes the value away completely, doesn't it? It's got to be. Oh. Let's have a look over here. Oh, look at that edging. And this is the feature border. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I mean, the key thing there, they've haunched up and it, the grass can't just grow on it. That's the, that's the problem. They've you not... know yourself, grass won't grow on concrete. No soil. There's no soil. The only grass growing anywhere near here is in between where they haven't pointed it where, where the joint is, Paul. Yeah. yeah. And look at the cutting mark. And the cutting, you can see, yeah, yeah this, this is okay. That's okay. Yeah. And then we have. <laughs> oh, it's all. And do you know, the thing is, is, cut right with a professional installer. You get those lovely sweeping curbs and these blocks accentuate the pattern. But if it's done like this, it, it makes it look worse. It does. It does. I mean, look, I mean, these seem to be in. All right, although these aren't. Look at that. Look. Oh. 
You should not be able to do that with your hands. No, you shouldn't. And it's the thing that's the, 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 that's the edging. So we've got this horrible gap here. And as you quite rightly say, the, the split of the car. What do you think of that? It, it's, it's shocking. It, it, you know, it doesn't get any worse than this. It's such a lovely stone. It's such a shame. And the other thing that is criminal, because if the pattern is right, and because there's lovely different shades of paving and, and, and shapes, because it's natural, it looks so lovely. But here, there's no pattern at all. It's a straight line. It's almost like a, a pavement straight out here and along here. And it shouldn't happen because the, the pavestone have got, you know, pattern guides. That's correct, yes. In every pack that we deliver to site, there's, a, there's an individual laying guide that shows you what size paving goes where on the drawing. And it's not just the pattern either. I mean, just look at the levels, Mark. I mean, this one here is considerably higher than it, and that's where it becomes dangerous and becomes a trip hazard. Yeah. yeah. As you say, we, we, we've, got, we've got a step there. I mean, this one's worth. Ooh, look at that. You can, you can see the difference between the two. And th these are a trip hazard. Oh, hold on. Is that a rocker? This could be a rocker. Oh yeah, and all of that makes it dangerous to walk on really, I think. These are risks for yeah. the young, the elderly. Yeah. And if the base isn't right, it's only going to get worse. Absolutely. Right, well let's have a, let's have a look at them here. Yeah. What have we got? Let's see what we've got underneath. It's like Indiana Jones, isn't it? What are we going to discover? We're on a, uh, we're on a little... Uh, well I've got a good idea what we're going to find. Oh that came, <laughs> came up a bit easier than I thought. Look at this, there must be a bit of cement in it, but that's, that's just about, that's about all. And, and this is all, this is all pure sand. There's a little bit There's of... a little bit of uh, MOT type one subbase, a very small amount. That looks like soil. I'm, I'm, at, I'm at mud now, look at that. Yeah. There, we go. there we go. What have we got? It's, it is just wet clay. Yeah. Look at that, it's just straight on the top. And this is, this is why the patio's failing. It's wet because water's running under the paving, the yeah. jointing's poor. And there's no contact there's, there's between that contact. and that. It's no. just laying on the top, isn't exactly it? Exactly right. And I think they're all like that. So if you come across, look at, look. That's it. That's it. And it's so easy to put in right. It, it is, yeah. Yeah. And it, it's amazing. I think, I don't think they could have done anything else wrong other than you know, even, even if they put them in upside down or long ways, that's about all that's left the for them to do thing, wrong. The only thing that I can say is they have laid them the right way up. Yeah, yeah, good grief. Right. Ah, oh, so the, 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 put your feet up for a minute, mate. So how do people go about finding the right installer? What would your advice be? On the Paystone website, there is a simple tab find an installer. Click on that tab, put your postcode or your nearest town, that will bring up a list of our preferred installers that, that we have actually vetted. So they can be trusted by Pavestone, who's gone through all the checks that these guys are the best in the business for laying uh, patios. That's correct, yeah. Okay. And um, when the installer comes and meets with the, uh, with the client, what sort of questions will they be asking? So the first thing, the first thing we always recommend is recommendations. Yeah. So a, a good landscaper would always say, I'll arrange for you to go and visit some of my other jobs. Really? Oh, that's really yeah. helpful. Yeah. So, and if they don't, yeah. ask. Yeah. So can we go and see some of your other jobs? More often than not, the installer might have been working in the area. Yeah. So they may just have to nip across the road or nip next door. Yeah. You know, speak to the neighbours, speak to family. Family will say, yeah, we, you know, this company did our patio. Yeah. Research, research the company that you're going to choose for your patio. Yeah, that, that makes a great deal of sense. So Mark is going to be doing a step-by-step -step on how to lay this properly to give you a bit of an idea on what to do. But not only that, what it's going to look like afterwards when it's been laid properly.